Once I clear the way. Strange place for a stockade. Farm ground, marshy approaches. Mike Bannock Bar. 1314. And the Scots beat the English. You won the battle, but who won the war? Dunno. It's not over yet. Shite, do your new thing now! to die first. What a hole. New England is well named. Is Scotland more pleasant? No. Scottish climate's shite too. 
as is the food. And the music. It's an awful place. At least, that's what they tell you foreigners. Don't just stand there. Move! The right words of power may force the nearby specters to show themselves. Reveal your true self. They never learn, do they? Don't let that specter get to the core. Watch out! Spectre position! Time for me to shine.
again, huh? Your funeral! That expect has seen a corpse and it hunted for its own. Do this myself. It's coming for you. Troubles about it.
have some of this. He really doesn't like these things. Hugging all the fun. Here's one more. Bonding's one more to go.
basta. Not the sound of a cop from this gun. Don't count on it. That one next? That one next. How did you come to waste your potential by being a banisher? Do you believe I'd make a better witch? Yes, I do. You'd be doing yourself, and me, a favour. Welcome to Ceridian's Island. There is much power here. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Like I say, welcome to Ceridian's Island. She's at home, and expecting you. Follow the path until you find a black pond near ancient ruins. I'll see you there soon enough. How does she do that? It's a trick, right? There's more to that one than tricks. The girl is gifted. What is this? Banisher rule number three. Remember Wizbeach Bog? Aye. I'll not put this thing with a stick. If you need a breather, we can do it here. Hanging dolls. Witches do like to be creepy. As a child, I made dolls just like those. <laughs> 
I bet you did. Seeker's Black Pond. I can see why they call this the Ill Mouth. What is that? Antia? No, that's not quite true. I knew who I was, it's just... I was lost, and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was a beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or had. Possibly all three. And here he is, the other banisher. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. Have we met? Of course we have. Just now. Also later. Decades ago. <laughs> Never mind. It's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be. For you both. I... Thank you. But now you're here together. And I'm glad. Because you'll only be able to end this together. You brought us here. Why? You have many questions. And I have little time. I have a few breaths left yet, but yes, this is the twilight. Still, after the darkness comes the dawn. You're dying. Soon I'll be one with the trees, root and bark. But that is not why I asked you here. Dearest dears, the path ahead is yet unclear. But know this, if you are to defeat the Nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. How can we defeat it? How can we even begin to match its power? You surrender. Unconditionally to each other. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled, but some yet live. Seek them out. Help them. The Nightmare won't like that. No. You are, after all, a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's Den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. What is this void? If there's a place beneath the Incarnate and the Invisible, this is the first I've heard of it. Now you have. And not before time. That's enough for now. Is it safe? What will we find there? 
Who knows what you'll find? It ebbs and flows, expands and contracts. In the void, safe has no meaning. In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons. Do not stray. Our seeker crafted you a tuning key. Don't linger. Time is fickle. Would a hedge... I always... We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. I was teasing. How fun it is to see you squirm. There are many ways to enchant an item or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too. Thank you, Ceridian. Before what? It, I chose to. I see the price in. The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Funny looking spinning wheel. Do you weave with it? Of course. <laughs> I weave essence, Red McGrave. Help yourself. And take all the help. Witchery. Feels unnatural. Dangerous. Vanishing, of course, is famously safe. Time to waste, but I do not. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick. It's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there want us dead. So what we saw on the other side of the island, that was a void breach. Yes. You'll be using them too. But not this one. Not yet. There's another one, a little ways off, in the back of a cave. Use that one for now. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town since the bridge burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? The Nightmare is strong. She has New Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp, and maybe, just maybe, you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. You have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. We found a cursed object. An object? What object? A chest. Locked and evidently cursed. A curse could mean different things, depending. 
What do you think happened? We found it in the wilderness. We think maybe someone bound a spirit to it for protection. Ah, I do believe you found a chest belonging to Fear God. How do we get it open? Why would you want to open it? That's demonology, and I'm not one for stepping in no demonology. Even if old Fear God wasn't the worst. But from what he told me, Fear God Waterbury, the man, not his ghost, kept a ritual of unbinding in his breviary. Do you have this breviary? No, but I know he can find it. He spent his last years in seclusion, deep in the dark. Go northeast from the... You've... We'll be going. Yes. Well, let me get this right. We are looking for a breviary belonging to a demonologist that Seeker met after his death. All this in order to learn how to cleanse malignant spirits bound to cursed objects. Remember Balthazar H. Frenhofer's teaching. Efficient, adaptive, versatile. I suppose we'll come back to this one eventually. Can't wait, can you? Is this Seeker's Cave? Only one way to find out. Remember what we were told. Follow the beacons. Move fast. No looking back. This place looks barren. Lifeless. This is the realm of the dead. This is the underworld. Let's not linger. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes. Keep moving. Well. There. A way out. What the... What is going on? I know that voice from long ago. I banished its owner. What does that mean? It means we must leave. Now. Beacon is dead. Well, what new abomination is this? I'd say a sorrow used as a Cerberus. That's unheard of. Just getting stronger.
to end this monstrosity. Heads up! This horror crawl. I don't know, but we need to go. The hell was that? Ceridian's key was supposed to get us through unnoticed. I don't know. Are you all right? I'll do. But that nightmare over there, we know so little about it. That worries me. What about you? Whatever the reason, that nightmare is here because of something these men and women did. New Eden reeks of their guilt. I died because of them. Curse these people. Curse them and their secrets and their sins. We all get there. We always do. Are those breaches really safe? We were protected. You heard the whispers. The despair and that one voice. It called to you. Something knew you were there. It saw you. I thought, for, for a moment, I thought of them, those poor butchered boys. I swear in the void I heard their screaming, wains, sent to die for their sultan's pride. It was like I was back in the Balkans. You're you, and you're here with me, right now. I will be. Soon, I hope. This void. Is it hell? Is that what we saw? Is that what we've been sending all those ghosts we've banished? Or is it limbo? A timeless in-between filled with tortured souls. When we banish a ghost, we destroy it. The teaching is clear. What if the teaching is wrong? I heard the voices. They worry me too. But the teaching can't be wrong. We should have known where we were sending those poor souls. What if you end up there too? All is well. As long as we stay together, all is well. Aye. All is well. Right. Seek
It wasn't lying about the burned down bridge. Which way? North by the mountains or south through the mountains? Let's pick one and see where it takes us. Silence and the campfire. Just what Dr. Duarte ordered. 